Now you see the thumbnail so you know what the deal is. But before I hop straight into this video, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button since I'm going to be posting more content like this. And because 88% hey, yeah, of you guys haven't subscribed so I'm looking at all of you. But yeah, that's about it for the promo, let's hop straight into the video. Ever since Wano, the community has begun to wonder where will Sanji stack up against many of the various characters who they believe are the strongest out of the Yonkos and Admirals. And those characters happen to be the first commanders of each Yonko crew. So in this video, like the title says, I'm gonna allow Sanji to run the gauntlet and see if he can wipe the whole thing. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the rules of this gauntlet is going to be very simple. Everybody's bloodlusted, Sanji gets to regen at the end of every round, and the fights will take place on Egghead. I don't know which floor on Egghead, just know it takes place on Egghead, so do with that as you may. Lastly, if the opponent has any prior knowledge to Sanji or Sanji has prior knowledge to them, they'll be able to use it in this fight. Now that's done, let's segue into Katakuri. Coming up first is Katakuri and let's not waste any time here, Katakuri's biggest advantage is his speed or I should say his biggest asset is his speed since it's not really an advantage in this fight but an advantage he does have is his awakening which gives him a lot of versatility. But then again there are things that Sanji can counter. With Sanji possessing top tier speed I don't really think I need to get into too much since later down in the video when I need to actually talk about Sanji's speed, AP and durability and whatever I'll get into it more then but for now I'll give you crumbs to why he just straight up beats Katakuri. Sanji was able to move so fast that somebody who could perceive hybrid Marco could not see him and on top of that his AP was enough to damage a hybrid Zoan and I don't think Katakuri has that level of durability, it's not even I don't think, I know he doesn't. Queen was out here taking off guarded attacks from Marco in his hybrid form while Katakuri was getting damaged by basic armor and Luffy from whole cake island i'm good honestly the thing i'm worried about for sanji the most is probably just him getting suffocated by katakuri's mochi but i don't think he's slow enough to get caught by that so yeah sanji does win by a landslide and when you get deeper into the video you'll understand why so for the final time sanji beats katakuri Next up is Shiryu and I'm telling you right now, I am so close to making a video on why he is such a bum, but to quickly go over why it's not even a contest, Sanji knows everything to know about his fruit, like he literally knows everything to know about his fruit. And on top of that, Shiryu doesn't really have any feats like that, he gets damaged by no haki old garp, so he doesn't have durability feats, he doesn't have endurance feats, like okay his best endurance feat is taking a slam from garp, okay whatever, hit um, an off guard garp, which Sanji probably isn't going to get off guarded by since he knows everything about the clear clear fruit and won't be able to make him visible so yeah Shinyu doesn't really hold a candle to Sanji in any light so this fight is completely one sided until Shinyu decides to show us something. Yo you guys really think I support animal cruelty that's crazy. Next up is Killer and unlike a lot of other people, I have an interesting take on this fight. Killer on two occasions has been shown to be able to react to Yonko's attacks which means I do think he'll be able to box with Sanji in terms of speed. I know a lot of other people will start looking around in confusion but the evidence is right here. Unfortunately the manga doesn't lie, I mean sometimes, unless you're like Luffy. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Killer is faster than Sanji, I'm saying that he can probably contend with Sanji. Now that we've established speed, let's go on to the other stats. For endurance, Killer does take a big mom attack which is pretty good. Now on the surface that's very very impressive but it's not impressive since OD tanks are way stronger attack and this actually upscales Sanji massively. Mind you this attack was from an enraged big mom who decided to fuse her two summons together meaning the attack was considered stronger than anything she put out on the rooftop and up until she went into big mama mode. Using this queen statement and obviously him being stronger than her by a bit since he is an all star, I can say that Sanji does have the AP to put the work in on killer. Now I view killer's AP the same way I view Law's AP in a way since it depends on your endurance since they go into your internals and obviously attack your internals so if you can withstand your internals getting played around with no homo then yeah you're good. With Sanji's new exoskeleton I really don't think it should be a problem for him, obviously he will take damage and it will hurt but it won't do that much to him. So yeah, with that in mind, and basically every other stat of Sanji's being higher than killers in general, I do believe that Sanji does take it. Sanji's next victim is Marco and I'll explain here why he wins pretty easily. First of all, Sanji is way faster than Marco as Marco in his fastest state and strongest state wasn't even able to disappear from Queen's sight unlike Sanji. Mind you, this was base Queen. 
It's also great to mention that Sanji can do this without his jambos, which are specifically stated to increase his speed. So in terms of speed, Sanji whops Marco. Durability, Marco has human durability. A right, quick little intermission here. If you can hear the background noise, sorry, but I've been looking for this Marco panel where you get stabbed through the head for a good part of like two hours, but I can't find it. I know it happened somewhere in Wano, and I know if you've read the story, you've probably seen it. So yeah, that's the panel that's meant to go here, but I can't find it shown here while Sanji doesn't. Endurance which is Marco's best stat can be argued to be above or around the same as Sanji's. Marco can regen from every attack while Sanji really can't if a hole is shot through his chest while Marco can. So in terms of regeneration, yes Marco does beat him in terms of that. For stamina I'll say they're equal since Sanji and Marco were boxing for the whole raid so you can make arguments for both sides. Listen for AP, Marco does not have it I'm sorry my guy. For AP though, this is where Marco quite literally just loses the fight. Marco off guarded Queen and all Queen did was give him a gar and start to get mad at him. The reason this is so terrible is because off guarding in One Piece is one of the biggest things that lead to you getting one shot. Two of the biggest examples in the arc Marco did this in would be Oden and obviously Luffy. And so when Sanji attacked an on guard Queen, he gave this reaction. I don't think there was, they're light years, they're light years apart. So yeah, Sanji would outspeed Marco by a landslide and then just blitz him completely, it wouldn't be a very close fight. Next up is King and this is one I'm going to go into the most since it is Sanji's most discussed fight. So like I've explained in other videos, King's AP is around Thunder Bargo level because of these two panels right here. Which means he does have a decent level of AP. Now how you want to argue their AP, it's up to you, I don't really care. What I care about is Sanji's AP. And I do believe that Sanji does have the capabilities to damage King. Now Sanji being able to output a similar level of AP to where it can match with Big Mom who was enraged and you fusing her two homies together to then fire off that attack, I do believe that Sanji can obviously damage King. For our next category, speed. If you believe that King in base for some reason is as fast as Hybrid Queen, Sanji with no Diablo Jambe it would still be able to speed blitz him. So if you turn his flames off, you'd have to then turn Sanji's flames on. Then again, Sanji's speed will then be able to gap King again. And what I just did right there was Hybrid King. In reality, King's level perception is similar to Queen's in base. It's clear as there on the panel, the panel literally shows it for a reason, I'm not making stuff up so you can look at this panel, if you want to disagree with the panel then go ahead, I don't, I'm not really bothered but yeah, that is how it is portrayed. But yeah, it doesn't matter what King does, King will always be slower than Sanji, Sanji will always outpace him and then for Sanji being able to tank his high level attacks like the explosion and whatnot, you can argue that since Zoro was an armored hockey master and Queen did say that he can damage armored hockey masters with his attack. And since Zoro at the time was an armored hockey master, you can say that Sanji can take that attack pretty easily. Final nail in the coffin to make this Sanji's fight completely is the fact that Sanji has fought a Seraphim and possibly knows their weakness. Not 100% sure, but obviously Sanji was able to put his Seraphim in a bubble, so I'm assuming that he figured out their weakness somehow. Maybe Zoro told him while he was fighting, I don't know, but he's fought a Seraphim, so I'm gonna lean towards him probably knowing. If he doesn't, then it's still whatever. King's not the ton of his flames to keep up with him anyway. But yeah, Sanji should be able to figure it out or should know it. With the AP to damage King, the speed to obviously outspeed him completely, and the battle like you to boot, Sanji is being King. Next up is Sabo, and this is probably the most up in the air one since we've only seen the battle once, and I was against a holding back Fujitora, so we don't really know what was going on. And in my opinion, if your first fight in the series is an admiral, then I have to give you respect in some way. But we haven't got any concrete statements or feats, all we have for Sabo is patrol so I'm gonna go in the routes of feats and then I'll give you what I think at the end. If we look at the feats, it's pretty tame to say that Sanji beats him in every category, he's got better speed, he's shown basically everything better. And I think Sabo's flames is a non-factor in this and Sanji has blue flames and as we know he does have fire resistance so his fire resistance has been upped to blue flame level while Sabo is still at orange. Beats only, yeah I'm going with Sanji, but if we're doing it as betrayal, I'm going to say that Sabo is over him. Alright, now it's time for one of the big dogs and first up is Zoro. Now if I'm being honest, Zoro does have better feats, patrols and obviously statements, so I'm going to have to give this to Zoro. I don't think the fight is far, not as far as many people think, I think the fight is very close actually. 
think Zoro's reaction speed and obviously Sanji not showing the ability to take his level of attacks is what's weighing him down in this fight. Yes, Sanji does have the capabilities to blitz Zoro, but do I think in that blitz he'll be able to one-shot Zoro? No, I don't think so. That's ludicrous. Obviously, due to them being on the exact same crew, they know each other's fighting styles, but the thing is, is that Zoro does have the AP to just deal with Sanji. Now, don't get me wrong, Zoro does not one-shot Sanji, but I think Zoro will be able to land enough hits to put down Sanji before Sanji can put down Zoro, if that makes sense. So, unfortunately, Zoro does win. Last week we have Mihawk, Rayleigh and Ben Beckman and Sanji wins, yes, that is the end of the video. I'm joking, he, he, he obviously loses, like, <laughs> what do you expect me to say? Yeah, this is usually where I go on the long last rant about something and then like end the video, but I'm really tired right now since I'm kind of like boat recording to go on holiday, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Good night. It probably won't be night for you guys, so I'll be able to nice rest of your day.